gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. fine. But, well, of course, Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Very hey, shiny guys, face. We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine These people. Pricks again. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... Hmm. This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I don't think so. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Leave Lenny alone. What now? We Lenny's my boy. Here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. Come on, John. This right. is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot on. Follow me. Where are we going? Come on, John. Move on out. It's gonna wall. be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. Oh, yeah. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to nope. think no more. 
Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. Would you have right to it? Hey! Wait up! Oh, come on then. What are you doing? Stop fannying about. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. A lot. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know... When I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, All right, should be just down this path to the left here. So, you were saying? I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside. I'm sweet yet. home. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure nope. of nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Get okay. I'll check yeah. the house. Definitely. You keep watch out here. Nobody there. Yep, no. Ah. Okay. Okay, what? You did. How did he not die from that? Dumbass. Nobody there. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some other coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Not today. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Well, clearly not through you. 
I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? I'm coming, Joe. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <laughs> Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay. Seems like a good plan. Destroy the water supply. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. Oh, she will. Get along. Get the motherfucker up. Get him floating. John Marston. Goodbye. That is not in the water. That's in the water. Hi. He's out, brother. Enjoy your swim. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that girl? Just like women. All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay? I'm gonna say, just like women to want to talk at the wrong moment. Things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis. I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay. Few loose ends. Yep. Nothing major. And John, about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing Shit, matters to attend to first. Yep, I got toxic city. Looks of things. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Wow. Big cities. The pollution. They're always repellent. Yes. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Yes, sir.
chapter 4 Saint Denis What you looking at? You jibbery gerbil. Stick him up, cowboy. That's Dutch. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. I'll find him. Yep, all eyes on me. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, Hello? that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, that's why we love it. Hey, can oh, I get Henry. a drink here? Ooh. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I'll now, how can I help? Customer. You look like a whiskey man. Sure. You know what? You don't have a dollar, whiskey. Please. For a whiskey? Oh, dollar. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin <laughs> crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, you're oh. an orgasm. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay, okay. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Got that right. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not naughty. Where are we heading? Where are the? Hey! There hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to work. Five dollars. Oh, man. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? I'm right behind you, bro. Pretty much. Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right okay. there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over Never here's mind. a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're nope. Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have sure. nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. 
behind steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming Bastard. after us. Come here. Get back. Me. Fucking gun. Shoot the little freak. Uh -oh. Can't shoot a kid. Jesus. Come here, little bastard. Start running in front of the vodka, can not I? I'm going to kick you right in the head. Well, you're on a tram, so you win a foot race. Middle of the road, you fucker. You up that kid? I bet shit went that way. Yep. Thanks for Thank the you. help, friend. I kind of miss old Bob. Ain't you tired yet, old man? Only when I've caught you. Hey! Move on! Okay. Oh, you alright? Bye, mister! <laughs> you ain't got a problem. Fucking little shit. Come here. Boy. Fucking fine by you. Don't you have pigs to feed? You better stop right now. <laughs> See you You're there. making a fool of yourself. Told your mum when she had you. You got your little bastard. Hello. The fuck a girl. Are you around here? Nope. Yeah. Fuck sake. I had him then. I will get those out. What's the problem, friend? Fuck. My little bastards with guns. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He'd been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Fuck this kid think he is. With my horse. Hello, ma'am. Miles away. Alright, I'll just run then. Standing way. I'm wet. Fucking run. Move. Mind yourself. Mind yourself, you're in my way. Where the good old Dutch areas. This way, Arthur. 
Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Little bastards. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Sounds good. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of all of it. Parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Okay. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Is this the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh you get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? The one I only. This. Good odd Dutchy boy. Boys, we come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. The fuck are you looking at? Like a picture, I'll stuff it down your throat. Chi sono sti buffoni? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. This guy's up yourself. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some 
inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's different. So. Expected a fight. Uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Brave Robin. Salute. Come on, John. Take off fucking night. Come on, then. Waiting on you. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Me too. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Grave robbers. This way. Do you mind? Fuck up. Come on. Right on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Yeah, creepy in here. Not a big fan of graves. Huh? 
I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. I'll kill you! I think that's all of them. You know, how'd they get around that? Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll Thanks. need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Lost my hat. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Robbing grave robbers. Where are we looking? I think uh? there might be something in here. Money, money, money. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the Shit. law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just try it back to where we came in. Damn it. Fuck. Come on. Come on, Let's John. go around the side. So you can't see me. Stay close. Yes, sir. Stop stopping and just go. On you, the other one behind. I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your hand. Act normal. Get it. Keep 
Go win. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Alright, let's get this done. That was a strange mission. What are you doing, Morgan? Seriously. You coming Morgan. in with me? I'm right with you. You blind? Well, right, hello, you sir. took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just wild. simple country boys. Let's go! <sighs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. In front of you. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had Looks spaghetti? Right. What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't Papa call Bronte. him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And cavallo? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me Cavallo. two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, That's but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, He'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we Just need open. and disappear. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! You indeed, sir. Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack! How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we 
got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Anyway, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. 